May I, may I just ask a follow-up? Um, it has to do with the, the 500. You mentioned testing difficulties. Um, what did that mean, and could that affect the prevalence rates that you've discovered uh, as opposed to some of the other centers? Th thank you for the opportunity to, for asking this and answering this question, because uh, this is something that clearly we did not uh, speak about until now uh, and will be in our clearly peer-reviewed paper when it will be published. Uh, but uh, we believe strongly that the type of the machine you are using is uh, 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 very important for determining certain structures. The deep cerebral structures are very difficult to determine, if not with some specific technology that uh, Dr. Zamboni actually developed and is now uh, uh, commercializing through uh, 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 a commercial company. And uh, 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 we believe that this is one of the reasons why uh, our prevalence in uh, certain in this criteria was definitely lower than in Dr. Zamboni work. We have some experience by using this new technology that has been developed in the meantime, and we see substantially different results. Uh, uh, I also want to point out that the training uh, and the reproducibility of scan, rescan tests uh, uh, in Doppler will be essential because, uh, you know, that uh, definitely may alter the, the, the prevalence of the, the disease. And that's why I strongly believe that only multi-tests will be able to show whether there is, uh, uh, you know, confidence, uh, uh, certain confidence that diagnosis uh, is uh, is met